Hi guys, it is Fest Fashion today. I'm back with another video and today we are doing a pregnancy skincare routine. Morning and night. Personally, I did struggle to find skincare that is suitable for my skin type and that is allowed for pregnant women. So this is my own pregnancy skincare routine that I'm sharing with you guys. I hope that it will give you an idea of what products you can use during your pregnancy. So before I start doing this pregnancy skincare routine, make sure to subscribe and press the bell button so that whenever I have new uploads, you will be notified. So let's go. My skin before pregnancy was very oily. I would get some acne around my forehead if I don't do all my serums. Now that I'm pregnant, my skin has changed a lot, like a lot, lot, lot. Pregnancy has caused a lot of hormonal changes and probably side effects of some of my medications completely changed my skin. And so I had to change my skincare routine and also some of the products that I was using before pregnancy wasn't really allowed for a pregnant women, so I had to change. My skin is currently very dry. Oh, it's like a desert. My skin was cracking like around here and here and especially around my nose. My makeup was not sitting nice on my skin, so I had to do something. So now here is my pregnancy skincare routine. I think I said that many times, so let's go. Let's do it. I usually put on a hair band like this. Ooh. Now, because it is nighttime routine, I would have makeup from the day. I would need to take off my makeup first. And the product that I use to take off my makeup is the Bure Makeup Remover Deep Cleansing Oil. I got this from Philippines while I was on a holiday, and it is an oil based makeup remover and it dissolves and removes stubborn makeup, even waterproof mascara, while lifting away makeup residue. I only use one pump because I don't apply a lot of makeup and I warm it up on my palms like this. And I start up in my forehead and around my cheeks then. I gently rub my face with this makeup remover and I do my lips last because that's when it gets really messy. Now, I'm gonna wash my face now. now. I have washed all that cleansing oil from my face. It's really easy to take it off because as soon as it touches the face, the oil becomes milky and it just comes off your face. Next thing I do is I would use a facial wash and my Peppy & Co face vibrator. The sad thing about this face vibrator is that I've had it for so long that I did charge it overnight, but it's not vibrating anymore, which is so sad. So all I do is really do a circular scrubbing motion on my face very, very lightly. Now this is what I have been doing guys because my Peppy & Co has completely given up on me so I guess I have to buy a new one. I wanted to get something similar as Peppy & Co because it's so good. I've been using it for so long and this has improved my skin texture ever since I started using it and I'm just sad that even charging it, it's not working. I try to avoid my eyes because you can get premature wrinkles and then I would switch to the other side and do my lips because I would still have a lot of lip product in there and I would advise that always take off your lip product guys because I think there's like a belief where it could cause your lips to lose its pigment it darkens it you know and just be gentle with your lips as well I have done my lips and so I would just use my ring finger and apply soap on my eyes and kind of just trying to remove all the makeup and cleansing oil that I have left in there but never ever scrub it. Off to wash my face. Right guys so the facial wash that I'm using is from Simple. 
It is refreshing facial wash, kind to skin, pro vitamins B5 plus E, 100% soap free. It cleanses and invigorates for an ultra fresh feeling. It has no color and no perfume, no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin. And I researched online that the simple products are very good for pregnant women. All range, all simple products can be used for pregnant women because it's paraben free and there's no ingredients that is harmful for pregnancy. And you can use it before, after and during pregnancy. That's what their website claims. So that is why I went for this product. This is non-comedogenic. It's perfect for sensitive skin and suitable for vegans. So yeah, after I washed my first, I'll dry it with a towel, a clean towel. I'm not rubbing my face. I'm just like tapping it. I love rubbing, rubbing my face though, but we are in our 30s. We gotta be careful. The next step that I do is apply my the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Night Cream. This claims that it delivers six times more hydration for supple, energized skin overnight. And depending on how dry my skin is, I am very generous with this. I did research online that you can apply this on a pregnant woman's skin and it's not too harsh. So I applied this. I don't put on any more toners, guys, because I feel like the less I have on my skin, the better. So I just apply this on the skin and apply the rest onto my neck. Never forget the neck because that's where the first sign of aging shows. I use an eye cream which is a soothing eye balm which is 100% shea butter plus pro vitamins B5 plus E. It nourishes and calm. Like I said, Simple claims that all of their products can be applied on a pregnant woman's skin. So that is why I chose this as my recommended skin product for pregnant women. I am quite generous with this one as well. I could really see the difference between when you don't apply an eye cream to when you apply an eye cream. Like my, my eye wrinkles were just shy. We'll do the best we can to keep the youthful look. So the next product that I use is this Vaseline Petroleum Jelly. And I just apply very little of this on my lips because it's very hydrating. I have to apply Vaseline on my lips because if I don't, the sides of my lips will just crack. And of course you want very soft lips. There you go. So yeah, that is my nighttime skincare routine. I hope that helped you out, pregnant ladies out there. And see you in the next morning for my morning skincare routine. Good night. Good morning guys, it is a morning now and I'm going to do my morning skincare routine. Um, I'm lucky enough today because last night I did sleep all throughout the night because for the past few days I've been waking up like 4 a.m. in the morning and I would need to go to pee and I have a baby partying in my rivers and I can't get back to sleep until 6 a.m. and it's been like that for a while but last night I slept so well. The first thing I'm going to do is to wash my face with nice cold water and then use my facial wash which is the simple refreshing facial wash this is what i also used last night so let's do it so i'm just kind of foaming it up my palms and then just to wash my face with this. I'm just trying to remove all the night cream from last night. And after doing that, I am going to wash my face. I just washed off that facial wash, but I'm just going to pat dry my face. Oh, I feel so much more awake now. The next step that I do is I apply my Simple Age Resisting Day Cream. It has SPF 15 and it fights premature aging. It is the regeneration. It also does not have any artificial color, perfumes, no harsh chemicals that can upset the skin and non animal derived no mineral oils and it is for sensitive skin. Now I've been looking for 
a sunscreen for my face face but I still haven't seen any sunscreen that I can use I guess if you have any idea on a sunscreen that would be good for a pregnant woman then please do comment below because I don't have a sunscreen for my face next up that I do is I use the same eye cream from last night which is the simple soothing eye balm Quite a gentle eye cream. My nose is getting bigger. <laughs> I'm currently on my sixth month now. And next product is the usual, the Vaseline. Nothing too complicated, just very simple. So that is it. That is my pregnancy night and day skincare. But that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your pregnancy.